In situations where shoot blight is just getting started in an orchard, pruning can be a highly effective means of reducing inoculum, reducing a further spread of the pathogen, especially if you can get shoots pruned before they start oozing. This can be of particular importance on very young trees because in certain situations if we have highly susceptible, high value varieties, especially on susceptible rootstocks, even one fire blight strike, the bacterium can essentially run the tree and infect the rootstock and kill the tree. So pruning can be a very important means for shoot blight control. Now there's two rules of thumb regarding pruning. One is to cut out an infected branch at least 18 to 24 inches below uh, the sign of visible symptoms. And because this is because the fire blight pathogen can uh, in fact, and be in position in the shoots beyond where the symptoms are. So you want to make sure to cut lower than the symptoms to, to remove the pathogen. In some cases where that's not possible, then the second rule of thumb is to prune to older wood because for reasons that uh, we're not completely clear about, the fire blade pathogen many times will not move from uh, an infected branch into older wood. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to prune this branch back to older wood and as you can see, it's, it's less than 18 inches, but I pruned back uh, to older wood on that branch. Then what you want to do is you want to take your cuttings and you want to drop them uh, right there at the site or put them in the orchard middle and you want to let them dry out. And this is because uh, we don't like to move fresh cut branches, especially branches that have ooze on them. We don't like to move them through orchards because we could get inadvertent spread of the pathogen uh, just in that manner. Allow several days for these pruned blight strikes to dry out before removing them from the orchard and burning them. Now another question that comes up about pruning uh, is the question of sanitizing the clippers. First of all, a 10% bleach solution is excellent. It's a, it's a very good surface sterilant to uh, sterilize your clippers and so to prevent uh, inadvertent spread of the pathogen. Now it's obviously best to sterilize your clippers between cuts but in some cases where we're dealing with a lot of blight strikes on a tree, for example, that's impractical. In that situation then, I think the best thing is to sterilize the clippers between trees. The important thing is to just uh, prevent inadvertent spread of the pathogen. Pruning is a great way to prevent that. Sterilizing the clippers is an important secondary uh, aspect of pruning.